più dovrai far feloni amoroso notte giorno di torno girano delle belle torbando al riposo ma ci sei tu a tuo giro d'amor delle belle torbando al riposo ma ci sei tu a tuo giro d'amor Sanding back that blue bit looks slightly strange so I am just going to add a little bit of the yellow ochre So whilst we've got that on our brush, let's do the stamens. My second abstract, I'm just going to dip this into what's left of all the moulding dyes that I had. The moulding gel. Just rub it in there. I'm rubbing it along the edge, as you can see. Oh, I quite like those colours. Let's just rub it again because I'm to get it all covered, let's do it that way. Push hard. Wow. Yeah, that's quite smart. That bit's not covered. I think I want to have all the ball covered. So let's just do it again. And just sort of press it down and wiggle and pull. And just rub the paper along that end and that will get that covered. And we'll leave that to dry and then we'll see what we can put on top of it. I've got this lovely picture of some hydrangea leaves. I want to make this really simple because sometimes the quicker you do things, the better it can look. So I'm going to go for some big flowers. And I'm using some of that moulding gel. I don't want that colour in it. Let's just clean that up. Seem to pick up every colour. Alright, so I'm going for the, the white and I'm going for some mauve and some magenta. And I think we'll have a big hydrangea flower. Although we know they're tiny, and I sort of squeeze pointed shape. Squeeze that in like that. And make sure we've got some white in the middle. And just make these leaf shapes. Uh, that's one behind there. And the other side. And because we've got that gel base underneath, that's moving around really nicely. I don't want to bring up too much of what's underneath into the white on the end, the magenta, and then this will pull that down as that leaf comes over that one. A little bit to one side. There we go. And then some blobs of white around the middle. We've got some darker leaves uh, sort of here, but do we put those in? I don't think we will. I think we just fill it up with a few hydrangea flowers. We don't have to take this too personally. So bring that right up to the top. And it's got a lovely little one that goes to one side. That's quite pretty. And that lighter one, we can get some white. Just like that. Maybe a little bit here and there, but you've got that lovely colour underneath, so that's sort of 
doing it for us. And then we've got another quite big definite shape here. Love the shapes of these, they're all different. It's beautiful. I think we just got to have one in the corner, haven't we? Coming out of that canvas. Let's get some more magenta into there. Up to that one. Down there. And I'm going into the primrose because in between we've got those little ones that haven't quite come out, and they're that sort of Naples yellow colour. Isn't it lovely how you can just look at something random that you've done and you can turn it into something else. Naples jelly needs to come through there because that will give us the shapes. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of the white into the middles because what I'm doing is I'm picking up the darker colours. Uh, where's my white gone? I'm burying everything here. And they're quite light as well, so... Ooh, that was a bit too much, wasn't it? But we'll sort that in a minute. And use my old spoon I think and the end of it we can just sort of make those petal shapes by sort of dabbing that. Wipe it off if it gets too dirty. to blend that into those petals. And, yeah, that will be about there. And if it gets dirty, it starts to get very messy again. So we want to keep that a little bit lighter there. petals here too. And it's picking up the colour underneath and that's actually quite nice too with that texture. So again leave it to dry, it's quite thick, it'll probably take a day or two and then we can just tidy it up. Right, I'm going to try and get a little bit of definition into this because this is our sort of playing around with one and I'm sort of making them up a little bit as well which makes it slightly harder. So I get some of these darks and it might just help me to see where I'm going with the shapes. Using a green. I don't want to cover up all that lovely background that we've created either, so just a few bits here and there for the moment. Right, I'm going for a magenta. Okay, it's a definite shape into that now. I'm 
can get the highlights back in a little bit later if we need to. And there's a petal behind there, that's quite light. Bit of that Naples yellow. Twingle that in. Just blending a little bit there. A little bit of the dark. It's a little bit made up, so that does sort of complicate it slightly. It's got this lovely shape, so bring another one in here, I think. Well, see already that's starting to sort of hop out of there a little bit. nice to get to a stage with these and then just leave them alone and sort of carry on with some more but we, there is another one there that could have been missed so see where I'm going. There's lovely colours showing through. Got that sort of circle there. Darken that a little bit. Artistic license. It just makes it easier to see what's going on. a little bit come back to it and then we can sort of see how to finish it off <clears throat> all right back to my lovely hydrangeas i'm going to squeeze some of this molding gel directly onto the flowers so i want to get them nice and thick and shiny Oh, 
and that will go a little bit translucent. Now they're sort of made up so they're not exactly real and I wonder if I get a little palette knife and I'm going to get some mauve, some pink on that and some white and let's make this nice and raised. Of just lovely shapes, just sort of sculpt them out. Lovely shapes, these flower leaves. Get a bit more colour, a bit more white into that. The problem with this is that it, the white looks white and um, When it dries it will look different so I want just a little bit of a hint of colour into those petals but not too much it's a lovely shape that one I'll put the dark little lines in in a minute behind there too. And some little ones up there, I had a little bit of um, that um, Naples yellow to the mix. So I'm just going to get a little bit more white, squeeze that out. I can actually squeeze that straight on, I think, into the middles. So although it looks like there's lots of white on it, there isn't. And then taking a clean edge, just sort of pull that out a little bit. leave that to dry see what happens with it and then we can see where to take it that's all the fun of doing this right, well it's dried quite well so I'm now going to give it a coat of this heavy gel 
and it looks quite yucky as you put it on it's sort of milky and I'm brushing it on with a brush because what that will do is it will just keep all those lovely bumps in there that we've got underneath and I had to try it for a few days because I didn't want to lift the acrylic paint so I just add that or I make sure that it's sort of in all the little grooves and things and then when that dries that will be a lovely lovely gloss it will just sort of shine with all the texture that's in there as well so I uh, wonder what you might find in your messy palette to paint flowers are always interesting so please have a go and thank you for watching <laughs> Ci set va tu ci no d'amor Non più vrai questi bei panacchini Quel cappello